Here is an original bulk package of General Electric 22 watt 2D fluorescent lights. There's 20 of them here. I got these for a couple of dollars a piece. It was a really good deal. I did a video on the 150 watt three way version of this not that long ago and it seemed like a pretty good bulb so I took a gamble with these hopefully these are just as good I don't really see any reason why they wouldn't be so this is this is a 21 watts and this is 22 watts uh, I think it's close enough and it does have the mercury which is fine because you can recycle it and it doesn't leave the thing while it's in normal operation 2700K color temperature 1350 lumens and it claims to last about 8000 hours now 1350 lumens I think would be the equivalent of about a 75 watt incandescent light bulb somewhere around there It looks like this just goes on here like this. And, you know, this is not outrageously large. It's about a little taller than... Hmm? Actually, it's right about the same height. In fact, the bulb is slightly shorter than an, a regular incandescent bulb. Obviously, it's wider. But... The height is what was the issue in most lamps when it came to the older CFLs. So this really was quite brilliant because this solved the problem of CFLs not fitting in lamps. So let's get this connected here and see what it looks like. It's not quite preheat, but I did see a little bit of flicker there before it started up, so it's definitely not that ridiculous rapid instant start, not rapid, instant start I think is what the branding is, uh, which just burns through the tubes in no time. I don't know if this will show up on the camera, but I can see in person it's very bright here and here and then it's kind of dimmer uh, on the outside, so it's taking its time to get going, which is fine, that's the way it should be, because then the bulb will last longer very nice color it's it looks exactly like an incandescent bulb 2700k and note that the ballast is made correctly because it has vents for the heat to escape all over and even if you were to install this like this the heat is next to it it's not above it so this probably would fare just fine in a fixture where the ballast mounts up whereas a traditional CFL doesn't usually fare too well in that kind of a scenario so it seems to have started on this side and the brightness is going around like this Here is Irene. Not good. Something must have happened. Yeah, it's definitely not instant start, which is good. It's a little bit slower. So that's cool. I like that. Very happy with the coloring of that bulb. That's completely usable in a bedroom, in a living room, anywhere that I'd want a soft white color of an incandescent bulb. This will take the place no problem. Here's a pretty average sized lamp. Average sized shade. It's not not large at all and 
I took the harp off because that needs to come off in order for this to screw in. Okay. Oh, this is a three way lamp, I think. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's now put the harp back on. Fits on there with no problem. The uh, harp goes right through there, and then the shade will go on. And you can see it's got plenty of space in there still. And it looks nice.